Folks, today we're going to talk about the mitochondria on how energy is created on a cellular level. And you're going to hear more and more about this all the time. Mitochondria. Think about the mitochondria. And you can actually help your cells resonate by what you eat, what supplements you take. So think about that, folks. There are multiple layers of complexity here. So let me see if I can make it fun and give you a good visual. Thanks. <laughs> this is a cell. You have trillions of them in your body. This battery is going to be considered the mitochondria. In each cell, you have thousands of mitochondria. We're able to measure the mitochondria now, whether you're an athlete or a brain injury or a stroke patient, we can measure the mitochondria on a cellular level and then enhance mitochondrial performance. In fact, a lot of diseases out there, folks, are from mitochondrial dysfunction. On a cellular level, we start to break down. And if our cells break down, our cells make organs our organs make systems, our body starts to break down. So a lot of medication out there that doctors prescribe, they don't know, damages the mitochondria. So our war vets that are coming back with chemical dependencies and taking Prozac, Paxil, Zoloft, anxiety for their problems is actually causing mitochondria on, on, on the neuro neurological level. So when we enhance somebody's brain, whether it's a stroke patient, PTSD, or head trauma, we're looking at them on a cellular level to enhance their brain chemistry, to speed neurogenesis. So this is a cell inside the battery, uh, inside the cell, inside this water bottle is a battery that is our mitochondria, and that's how energy is created, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna get boring, I just wanna give you that visual, and now we're gonna break it down. Thanks, brother. Okay, this is what goes on inside the battery. This is actually how your body creates energy, and it's amazing. We can measure what's in red and replace what's in blue. And it's amazing B vitamins work on a cellular level. And, and if, when people say nutrition doesn't work, think about this. Remember in the old spy movies, they would give somebody cyanide and they would die? The cyanide impacts this level, shuts off electron chain transport right away. Guess what the, what, what the uh, antidote for cyanide poisoning is? B vitamins. It's actually hexacobalamin, a B12. So if you don't think the, the, the nutrition can affect you on a cellular level, folks, think again. So what we know now on a cellular level is if we switch somebody's diet from burning carbohydrates, carbohydrates cause a lot of smoke on a cellular level and free radical damage. There are essential proteins. There are essential fatty acids. There is no such thing as essential carbohydrates. Now imagine me telling a neurologist that I have a brain injury patient right here and I want to cut the carbs out of his diet and I want to use a cleaner burning fuel called fats to help the patient rehab from a brain injury. He would call me crazy. Okay, but on a cellular level, the research is out here. The brain cells, every cell in the body uses fat more efficiently than carbohydrates. Physiologically, there is no need for carbohydrates inside the body. So when we're looking at the mitochondria, we could test the mitochondria with our advanced research lab and then plug in the supplementation needed to enhance that mitochondrial function to either grow muscle, to grow new brain tissue, to help somebody with depression. Looking at people on a cellular level, folks, understanding the mitochondria is going to be key to your health in the future. So go to the Russ Scala YouTube channel, check out our research, go to Scala Precision Health, and see what we're doing, folks. We're here to help you.